All right, so if you guys have ever had a toothache, maybe you would have uh, picked up a little uh, tube of some cream, some numbing cream. They have this product, where it's called Origel. Freaking, if you've ever used it, it basically like numbs your mouth. Or I guess any part of your body, it's numbing cream, but for your mouth. I guess you eat it kind of consequentially of using it. I haven't really ever thought about that. It's kind of gross. But it, it's, it's okay if you're really in some horrible mouth pain and you need anything. It'll uh, do the job, but for a short period of time. It doesn't work that long, at least from what I remember. Uh, but there was one time I had a freaking terrible toothache. Sorry, I'm jumping around. But dude, if you've ever held a tube of this stuff in your hands, you will notice that they do not have a link to their social media presence on there. And that's because Origel, the brand, does not have a social media presence. At least not on Twitter. Or... Let me do a fact check here. Yeah, they don't seem to have an official Twitter account at all. And most... I mean, that's just weird to me. Most brands in America, I feel like, have a Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, all on the packaging. But dude, Origel does not have that. And I feel at least partially responsible. There was a one time for the one time, and like, I think this was like 2011, so I was probably like a junior in high school. But dude, I had the freaking worst toothache pain ever, and I guess it was probably just a cavity that I had went untreated on for a long time or something. But I guess, yeah, I just freaking, it's been so long. I'm so old now. So I barely freaking remember this. I just remember it sucked and I like couldn't do anything. I couldn't freaking eat food, maybe? I don't remember if it was that bad. Maybe I could eat food. Maybe I... I just remember the mouth pain sucked. And mouth pain's like notoriously like the worst type of pain. So, did, I mean, tell that to the pregnant women. Am I right? Yeah, I don't know if it's that bad. But freaking it's bad. Or it was bad. And I ended up having my freaking uh, tooth pulled later or whatever. But freaking during this pain while we were, while I was figuring out what to do about it. It was, I was using a lot of Origel, and I mean, this was like early Twitter days, 20 freaking 11, dude, so I, I, I guess I just, in my nerdy obsession with early social media, uh, and freaking the mixture of that and just my omnipresent mouth pain that I was in, I noticed that the Origel Twitter account, well, there wasn't one. So, I registered the name at Origel. And every few years, I just remember that I have it. Or, I mean, I don't know if I can log into it, to be honest. I don't know if I have the credentials, but I'm sure I could figure it out. But it's crazy to me that they haven't just claimed this. Like, it's their brand name. They clearly don't want it, but freaking... I mean, all you have to do to freaking have a brand identity is just register the account in the first place. Because people don't actually even look at the tweet they'll just tweet about you no matter what i know because when i do log into the origel account i'm people are just tweeting at me like i'm them and sometimes i reply my last tweet was from 2020 and i said my wife left me that's funny okay i cannot believe we only have 61 followers i must have been on one during this time sounds about right i love you at origel hell yeah i put way too much origel in my mouth i feel crazy don't worry, that'll last like five seconds. But yeah, dude, the first tweet on the account is from June 11th, 2010. So earlier than I thought. I was in 10th grade with this excruciating mouth pain. And I just made the account and I tweeted, I suck. And for the longest time, that was the only tweet on the account. But yeah, I guess if Origel would like to uh, negotiate, uh, I could probably part with this for the right price. Um, I understand it could be... Uh, Important to your brand, I under no, maybe you haven't bought a computer at the office. Or maybe this brand is just really hands off with how it's run. I don't know, maybe it's just like motor oil runoff that also works for mouth pain. And there's no real, it's just an automated shell of a company, I'm not sure. That's their official Twitter, I believe. Life hack, squeeze a little aura gel on any rank food you don't want to taste. Ew, dude. Why would you want to numb your food before you eat it? That's a sickening thing. Anyway. You can check out the at Origel Twitter account. Uh, please don't hurt me or sue me. You can have it. There's only 46 followers, so I don't think you missed out on much. But, uh... 
Yeah, just freaking fun fact. That's what I was doing in 2010. Just dicking around on Twitter. <laughs> and also recovering from the dentist.